A pipeline is a set of data processing elements, such as mathematical calculations, connected in series, where the output of one element is the input of the next one. FCS Express 7 allows to create pipelines to analyze and transform both flow and image cytometry data. Examples of pipeline applications are data cleaning, clustering and visualizations, dimensionality reduction, parameter math, virtual band pass or virtual spectral creation. Pipelines are created in FCS Express 7 through the transformation dialog. Each pipeline is made by a main pipeline body and by a variable number of pipeline steps. The main pipeline body is added through the Add New Transformation drop-down menu. The main pipeline body allows the user to define the input gate, the template from which a parameter list is retrieved, which parameters of said list should be used as input for the pipeline, the suffix that will be displayed in the plot title once the pipeline will be applied. Of note, the parameter list can be defined by either selecting a file or a plot from the layout. The latter is especially useful when both compensated and non-compensated parameters are required. It's important to note that the events and the parameters which are not selected as input data in the main pipeline body will neither be available in the subsequent steps nor in the final output. So, if all the events and or all the parameters are of interest, either within the pipeline or in the final output, please be sure to select all events and or all the parameters in the main pipeline body. For our example, we will select a specific gate as input population and we will select all parameters via right click as input parameters. Pipeline steps can be added via the create new pipeline steps drop down menu, which lists all the available steps nicely organized in different categories. Some of the algorithms used nowadays in flow and image cytometry are pipeline themselves. Users can add them all in once by the predefined algorithms category. As an example, we will create a three steps pipeline. We will start by adding a scaling step and we will scale all the parameters that will be used as input for the subsequent step. After this step, we will run a dimensionality reduction using UMAP. And we will select the scaled parameter as input data for this step. Finally, we will remove some unwanted parameter to make the final output easier to handle. Steps can be reordered by drag and drop and can also be deactivated or activated on purpose. Once the pipeline is defined, it can be applied by drag and drop on a single plot or can also be applied on the selected plot or also on all the plots within the layout. If modifications need to be made to the pipeline, such as reordering steps, changing settings, selecting the selecting parameters, the automatically run pipeline can be temporary and checked to avoid that the pipeline is rerun at every single change. When you have done and you want to calculate the pipeline, simply click on Execute Transformation Pipeline or recheck the automatically run pipeline checkbox. On plot on which the pipeline has been applied, the pipeline results will be accessible from the parameter list.